What's good, people? Welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to the show. Race for Europe is back. I think we're actually in a worse position now than we were when he took over. And that's shocking to say, really. The shocking to say. Wow. Now. It, is, wow. it is. I'm going to let you land. I'm going to let you land. But I'm going to bring you back to that one. Continue, You can friend. bring me back wherever you want, mate, with your circle head on WhatsApp. So, um, <laughs> <laughs> so, so no, look. Ten Hag has to take blame. He does. Look, look, I'm not. I'm not an idiot. I'm not an idiot. Do I back the guy? Yes, I do. Still back him, but he has to take some of the blame. He does. There is. Um, there is a lot. I keep saying this word every every week on this show. Naivety. Your away form against the big six, even more seven, eight, nine, is woeful. But you still manage to squeeze into top four. So that tells me that you are dispatching all the teams that man you should dispatch. If this season, however, you fail to dispatch those teams, you can't then rely on beating the big boys because he's not got it. He showed his true colours right now in X amount of games. I don't know. You, you'd probably know more than me, than the, the exact number. But in the amount of games he's played away from home against the top teams, he hasn't come out with a W yet. He's hold. He's held draws, or has he got one? Has he got one? I think he's got the one, mate. I think. Oh, one. I, you know, he's played us. He played us this time last season at your gaff. But again, we're talking about away. We're talking about away predominantly. But either way, against the big boys, your form is absolutely woeful. Look, we all want to say how man you oh, know, know, know. know. Got to say how whatever you want to say. Finish this What you need is cultural <laughs> wholesale changes. These changes are never coming, Errol. They're never coming. What are you? They're never going to change. Is well, that the reality, say, though? Is that not the reality, though? The reality is they need no. to happen. Yeah, but but they're not because this is this is the reality under the Glaziers. They've just taken the club off the market, so they're not selling, and that's, 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 they can that's sack lie, Ten Hag. That's, they that's can go. That's a lie. Right? Power play. Power play. Oh no! Yeah. Money. Keep smoking the coffee. Wallace, they can't afford to stay, mate. They can't afford to stay. We are in so they can't afford it, mate. They, they that is a power. Well, they're not play. getting the price they want. They value it at a very high price. No one's willing to pay it, and. I think for the short term, you seem to be stuck with him. And you can sack Ten Hag and go and pinch De Zerbi and think that's going to solve all it your problems. Work. Oh, we got De Zerbi and you're going to cheer work. over it and celebrate. De Zerbi is going to do this. It's going to be the work. same. You're, you're going to be an in and out of top four team for a very, very long time. And that team, I looked at that, I watched that game and I was like, it was two poor teams, but you... I just was like, this is it was a toothless, mate. It was toothless. Average. T I looked at that team and I just looked at the bench and I looked at what you had. I thought, wow, there, there is nothing really special about this Man United team, man. It is a far cry. Dan, where, right now, looking at your side, looking at what you've got, the whole house, where do you take pride as a Man United fan? Well, Doris, the tea lady, is a bloody good worker. She seems <laughs> to um, you know, really put a good shift in. Your best players, your biggest players let you down. Marcus Rashford, Bruno Fernandes were absolutely shocking. They were shocking in moments where they could have won the game for you and could have produced big moments, and they didn't. And that's the thing that you've got. You've got your big players that at times will do good, good work for you and get you to a certain point. But in the big games, the games that it matters, the games that make the difference... Where your Odegaards, guards, where your Declan Rice now, and your players like that will make the difference. Your big boys don't, and that's the biggest problem. Um, but I, I, I was, I was surprised by Arsenal. I thought Arsenal would pick pick you apart, and and they didn't. And yeah, I, I don't well, listen, we haven't been we haven't been convinced yeah. all see all season so far. Arsenal, I've said that every week. I ain't been convinced. They ain't been convinced. Listen, you can get caught up in the emotions and Arsenal fans did it the last kick of the game. Who's not going to be happy beating Man United? Who, let's be real, in the last 25 years have actually been our rivals. Do you know what I mean? Everyone goes on about Spurs. They're not our rivals. Geographically, they're next door to us, but they don't win anything, yeah? We've gone through the proper games. And Dan, you'll know the Roy Keane and the Vieira times and the Fergie and Wenger times. So fair play, everyone's going to be happy. But I said it at the start, you look at the stature of the clubs and where they are now, and Arsenal fans and Man United fans are laughing at each other. Who had the better season? We got a trophy. You did. Hang on a minute. Aren't we supposed to be Man United and Arsenal here? Yeah, Winning when Carabao was... Cups is a top set. So, so for me, was... of course it is, right? Go on, Errol, quick last... go. No, when was the last time it was Man U and Arsenal buying for the top, top spot? When this is my point. Two. This two is my point. Two, two, and this is what three. this is the thing. You've got the whole build up for the game was Keenan Vieira in the tunnel. That was 20 years ago, man. Do you know what I mean? Like, it's bizarre for me. Anyway, 
The game itself, I agree with Pete. I thought we were there for the taking. I think we have been there for the taking most games so far. Haven't been convinced yet. But we turned up with it. Our subs won us the game, in my opinion. That, for me, changed it. I thought Declan Rice was great, even though Lawless thought he'd give a 4 out of 10 performance. I thought he was quality. So I was a big fan of Declan Rice's performance. But apparently, that's only a 4 out of 10. I can't wait for Lawless to give him the 8 out of 10 or the 9 out of 10. I can't wait for those ones because I'll tell you now, yeah, listen, this will be a fantastic pleased, performance. He's, no, he gets ne- he gets extra points for scoring a goal, of course. He gets extra points for scoring, but the overall performance... So yeah, it was. A, I mean, he didn't do. He didn't really do much wrong. Maybe it was a fight. He didn't really do much wrong, but he didn't do anything where you can go, "Oh my god, oh that was brilliant." It was a lot of sideways, backwards passing. You know, typically, I've said to you, I seen, I've seen him play for us a lot of times. We would never come out of a stadium if he don't, had a game like that and go, "Oh, Declan Rice today, what a player we've got!" Like, you know, so. It's obvious that you guys are, are getting hyped because you've paid a lot of money for him. So you're in that situation where everything's rose tinted glasses. I got accused for that. What you did there is what I got accused of when Paquetta came on against Spurs last season, right? Remember? And I was like, because I was going, oh, you can see this. And Tobes was saying, oh, you're just getting hyped because of Paquetta. You're just getting hyped, man. And I'm not saying he's a player. I didn't say he's played. But just slow down. Give him the pull. It's, I mean, look, scoring their last minute win. Right. Is, Shatobes is right. What? Shatobes is right. Like, You've what? just done that. Right. What have you <laughs> done? <laughs> all of that. What have you I'm done? Nothing. <laughs> clip. I'm saying nothing. <laughs> Enjoy the last minute winner, of course. But keep our <laughs> names out your mouth, Arsenal fans. You're in this unfounded territory where now you've had a good run. You want to just jump on the coattails of these other teams and think, oh, we can now replicate what you've done. And that, I'm not saying that you can't, but the likelihood of that happening You're talking is nonsense. Terrible. I'm not You're talking acting like, you're like, whoa, 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 wait a minute. So what, I'm last season, season undoes the previous season? Bro. I'm trying to just put it into context. I'm just trying you to put it into Listen, context. you don't even know where the airport is. You're about landing, yeah? What listen. do you mean airport? Like, ah, oh, mate, me and you are going to fall out, you know? <laughs> I know, <laughs> because what I'm saying you're is, gonna you're, you're giving the speech like, oh, you... Listen, you guys, this is unfamiliar territory and you're trying to emulate me. You act as if these other teams haven't had shit seasons and we ain't had good seasons. It happens. By by good seasons by your standard is not the same as a good season by a previous Arsenal standard or a previous Man U standard or even, dare I say, a previous Chelsea or Liverpool standard. It's just not the same ballpark. And that's all I'm trying to reiterate. And instead of you fighting against the tide, just accept it and just allow it and just be like, you know what, where we're at, for what we do, we're doing really well. And if we stay on this trajectory, we will be all right this season. We'll finish up in the top half and we could have a strong run within Europe. Everyone here will give you your flowers and say, do you know what, man's talking sense. Because based on what you can see, it'd be hard to argue against it. But you overinflate the issue and put on... Because if this was Newcastle, you'd be talking different. It's a Newcastle. I wouldn't. I wouldn't. Yes, you I would. would. You, you all think I'm a Newcastle and Villa. You all do it. Every week. Oh, oh, because guess what? They've, they've got, got more the Saudi juice money. Though. Yeah, but they've got more juice than you, so I can expect it to be more They've got juice, more juice. They've got money. What's, what's the juice? What's the, the juice? Money, it's the first the season plan, in Europe. The system, you like. wanted to get rid of your manager the other week, so you know you know yourself that what you're getting, you might enjoy the heyday now, but it's not sustainable in the same way that Newcastle are looking to implement themselves in the next five to ten years. It's not the same project. It's not on the same level. How Newcastle started off? How they started no, off? Yeah. You can't do that. This ain't even mean to. This ain't even mean to come for you. Lawless is just like getting a gun and going. Boop 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 boop. Everyone. You didn't mean to come for me, Lawless. You didn't mean to come for me, but you did. Okay. So therefore, on the back of that, we finished in the Champions League last season, right? And you never have. Even before we were, even before we, my, but technically we but, did, and Liverpool got us banned from Europe. So, oh, 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 oh. Right. But in, okay, and even after that point in the 90s and the early 2000s, we were playing in Champions League football, we were finishing in the top four um, on a regular basis, fighting for the top five. You haven't done that, yes. I, 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 I give you, uh, we all gave you your flowers, you won the European. The conference trophy, which I fully expect Villa to win, and I genuinely believe, in my opinion, anyone else in the panel, if their team was in that competition, they would win it as well. Uh, but uh, what I'm saying to you is, is playing at the top end of the table isn't a conversation after four games. You know what I was like, and you gave me sh- 
looking for it last season that I was holding back and I was like, I'm not sure, I'm not sure. I hope we get there, but it's been a long time, blah, 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 blah. But it's secretly inside, I'm thinking, we've got a team that's capable of doing it, but I've, ne I've not seen this team do it. We did it last season. And you've had great seasons before with Declan Rice and you didn't achieve it. So don't come for Newcastle on the back of that. As Errol no, said, all I'm project, saying is, and I'm project, not even... project is going yeah. way beyond yours. And yes, we've started it and we'll get into Newcastle and I'll give them it myself because they were Saturday, right? And fair play to Maz. But at the same time, our project will way outlast yours. So don't come to Newcastle. Yeah. Yeah, oh, because because oh, guess what? Because you got because you got that you got that you got your you got the bought out yeah. Well, you yeah, got well, sugar daddy. Go back before sugar my daddy. Cashly, and we could sugar go back daddy. before my Cashley when we didn't have all that, and we were still spanking you every week, and we were still That's finishing a different, our whoa, 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 whoa. Oh, 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 you, oh, oh, it's all right for you to go back. It's all right for you to go back and say way back when that Liverpool stopped you from playing in Europe, and you can go back and say that, but you can't except me saying in the 90s and the 2000s that we were fighting at the top end of the table. We were pushing yeah, before teams... Before we had five channels on Terrestrial, like, and what all are we the talking about it, You know, we, we were doing that. You weren't doing that. Billy you weren't, weren't even born that. then. What are you, what are you on about? Billy you weren't even born <laughs> then. Billy weren't you even weren't born. born. Let's, I mean, no, we can't be talking about <laughs> that happening when Billy weren't born. Um, <laughs> <laughs> there, there we go. There we go. But once again, Lawless is trying to compare West Ham's season to Arsenal's, which is bizarre. But that's his opinion. Well, we that's what he wants to do. Our season, the table compares it for us, right? So I'm just saying, if we're comparing our starts, and you've had an easier run of games than West Ham, we will. Just, I'm just saying that your run of well, make sure you're up there with us for a game week, game week 38, then, brother. Make sure you're up well, there. Well, how do you know you'll be up there? How do you know you'll well, be up exactly. there? Exactly. Make, make sure you're up there, then. Make sure you're up there. Make sure Champions sure you're... League. Wait for the Champions League starts. Yeah. Wait for the Europa League to start. Yeah. You might then be we'll joining West Ham or at. Yeah. You, I swear you, to you God, if you do not win group. something, or you do, if you tell me that I'm a disgrace for putting West Ham no higher than 10th, and you even dare to finish 10th, 11th, 12th, wow, you are so in the mud, bro. You are so... Well, we've got a young squad. squad. You, we've got a young... Oh, we got a young this. Well, we you got, haven't got uh, a young uh, squad. Uh, You've got Antonio uh, yeah. up there still. You know what it is? Whenever we get anywhere near Lawless to the top six, they want to bring us down. That's what it is. They, they see us getting there. They see us penetrating. You've only done it one season, Maz. But this, you're talking like we've been saying this for the last 15 no, years. No, no, no. But whenever <laughs> any, any small team... Come on, let's get realism here. Yeah? No, but, okay, okay, Dan, do we get... When we ever do well, any small club, do the players get taken away? Do the managers get taken away? Do... Do, do they get dismantled season upon season? Or the football pyramid? Am I meant to feel sorry for you for being a small club no. or something? No, 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 no. But what I'm saying is... What is the big no, boys, what? it happens to like even when you're at the top of the table, it's the top of the tree, it still happens to you. Do you get me? The well, big how, boys, how is that though? How, how is football ever going to that's, that's how football works, bro. If, yeah, if you ain't alive to that in 2023, you're, you're watching the wrong sport, bro. But then don't I'm, cry, that's, that's, don't that's, sit that's, there and cry yeah, about yeah. the man's cities of the world, yeah. Don't sit there. And I had this from who, the Arsenal who, fans. Who? No, all of you, all of you fans, all these big boys. Oh, oh, they've spent loads of money, and well, it's not competitive. You want it, you want it to be the Bundesliga. All of that, shit, yeah, where, that you lot say. I remember this when when we said I'd rather Declan Rice goes to Man City. Oh, you don't want a competitive league. You want it to go to the Bundesliga. No, you just want all the best players to go to your clubs. You don't give a shit about. Bundesliga and competition. You just want to raid us because it's just the way things are. You're, You're supposed so to be a man of the people. You're, You're supposed to be a Liverpool. You're, You're supposed to be from Liverpool. Liverpool. I'm sorry, I thought you were for your man of the people. So I would only replace Arteta with a proven winner because for me, this project process thing is done and we've got to now deliver. And if he's not going to deliver it, why would De Zerbi? For me, it's got to be a proven winner that knows what he's doing and, and has done it before. So that would be how I'd answer that question. But I'm a big fan of what the is doing at Brian. I think he's been fantastic. I love the style of play. And I think Dark Brian do deserve credit, you know? I'm lawless to start crying in a minute because I haven't given West Ham flowers. But I don't think West Ham are run anywhere near as good as Brighton. I don't think they are. I think their ownership is nowhere near as good. I think the manager's nowhere near as good. I, I think the, the player I think there's I think their team's better, if I'm honest. So that's why I predicted Brian ahead of West Ham. But apparently I'm going to be muddied at the end of the season when they when West Ham come top four. So Do you know what? Because this is the thing. I ain't even like when it looks like I'm I'm salty against Newcastle Brian. I ain't got no problems with Newcastle Brian. Mike, do you know why I seem to have a problem with you guys? Because it's pots. Because pots 
loves you guys. He loves you, your teams. He absolutely loves you. Like, imagine like if Pete was this ma- massively deluded, arrogant ass uh, Newcastle fan, right? That's that's Potts on behalf of Newcastle. He is worse about your teams than he is his team. And that's why. So if I ever seems like I'm firing shots, the shots are at pots on behalf of. I think Lord you should leave. Yeah. I think you should leave uh, Maz and P out of this then and come for me. That's what I think. Well, I do, but I, ha- I have to. I have to fire shots at those teams when they why? Underperform. Why do you? you why? Apparently, it's me. You've got the problem with. So you're coming because for Maz's team for no reason, school. and you're coming for Pete's team for no reason. But you've got the problem with me. That makes no, no sense, brother. Because no you sense. put them on the pedestal, so when it blows up in your face, by what? By doing what? what? How do I put them on the pedestal? What did I say? What did I say? That they because run well and that they're good clubs. I think you're. Oh, no, I think, you I think... in, they're at the top all the time, and they could do this. You, you, you said to Pete. That they could win oh, their group in the over, Champions man. League. You I said think they, they can go through. I do. Okay, uh, let me ask you this. Let me ask you this. Real talk. We'll move on to Liverpool next. But real talk. Let me ask you this then, oh, Lawless. Oh, oh. Liverpool me... and Villa. That's right. And Villa. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I thought Aston Villa was the flavour of the month. No, Aston Villa. I, I, I don't want to show favouritism because otherwise you'll come for Aston Villa and Billy otherwise. So I have to go for Liverpool, don't I? Do you know what I'm saying? You'll start shooting, firing shots. To be fair, you always, or you already fire shots at Billy. What am I talking about? <laughs> I've got to say, with, with Villa, yeah, because yeah. I know like Errol's going to go into a 20 minute diatribe on Zabba's lie and we're going to hear him wax lyrical for f- God knows how long. But it was offside. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Billy, I've got to shout There's out this comment. You said in the chat, he's, a, he always, he's always coming out with some good stuff. He's a good, uh, loyal viewer of the show. He's always got great comments. He actually has a quote from you here um, oh, before the game. I'd like to read it to you and get your thoughts. It says, I'm feeling good. Thursday, play the kids against hips. Give Martinez a full week's rest. Ready for what Liverpool. Is that? Over to Anfield. Let's get the three points and make another statement win. Off the villa. <laughs> Right, <laughs> well, where, where where in the world is that accent from? First I don't know what's the first accent thing that we need to address. <laughs> I don't know what accent you've got, it's some sort of northern Midlands thing that's not quite <laughs> rummy. I don't know what it is, it's really hard to do. Don't bring um, me into this, <laughs> add, a bit of, add a bit of Spanish in there as well. Why don't you? Because I said in the in the I did can't kind of come for you in the group chat and Dan United as one of these people that you know you, you put your chest out there, but you don't want to put it all the way out there. You don't want to get clipped. So you'll sit there and predict your team to finish really high up the table and say, Oh, Emery's brilliant and the players we've signed is brilliant. But ahead of every game, a lot of the time, you try and under you know, you don't you don't really big yourselves up, you know, you downplayed yourself ahead of Hibs and all of this. Um and yeah, obviously, I think you thought you'd be doing a lot better than you have done. You need to answer for this, Billy. Yeah, <laughs> it's it's not about not wanting to get clipped. I don't mind getting clipped. It's the it's the feeling that I get when it comes back in your face, and it's just the worst. And I can't be asked with it. And do I think that Villa can finish top six, top seven? Absolutely, I think we can. Are we showing it at the minute? No, I don't. But going to Anfield against Liverpool is a hard place to go. And going to uh, St James's Park against Newcastle, first game of the season, is a hard place to go. You know, we, we've lost two games this season. I was I was feeling good again against uh, in the in the run up to Liverpool. You know, four four wins on the spin. After being albeit, hips, you know, after being hips, exactly, exactly. Four, on. four comfortable wins on the spin. I was feeling slightly confident, and you know, if that goal doesn't happen, offside goal doesn't happen two minutes into the game, it could have been a slightly different, slightly different game. I think, I think our game plan going into it would have been to hold on to the ball, calm the crowd down, first 10, 15 minutes, don't let anything big happen. Obviously, that went out the window two minutes in. And uh, and yeah, the rest is history. You knew a Top question. Four, have it? you got any flowers left? You've been giving out all these flowers, haven't you? Got any left for West Ham in the in your little uh, box oh, of flowers? I mean, listen, <laughs> I did give you some flowers earlier. I said big up West Ham for their start, along with Brighton. But you know, you don't like to listen to the things that don't fit your agendas, my friend. So no, if you're going to everything you on say is all like little with a, with a nudge and a wink, yeah, all backhanded, sarcastic. 
I want genuine, genuine flowers. Roses, daffodils, tulips, petunias, whatever you like. Give me some real flowers for my team. Because you sit here and say, oh, it's four games. It's four games, right? So what? So we just go around each time. Oh, well, what happened with uh, the Newcastle game? Ah, it's four games. All right, let's move on to the Man United game. Oh, it's four games. Like, we could just go around for every day and go, oh, it's four games. What do you want me to say? We were undefeated. We're in the top four. We're doing bits, mate. We're doing bits. Um, Listen, I, well, congratulations mm -hmm. for beating Luton. Congratulations for beating a Chelsea side that Forrest beat. Congratulations oh. for not losing to Bournemouth. Oh, and congratulations oh. for beating Brighton. Well can done. I, no, don't it. just say Brighton like they're be... anybody. <laughs> can, I, can I put my excuse in if they go and beat City already for not coming on the show? I, I'll, I'll, be, I'll be ill that well, week. Well, you that time, Dan. Honestly. Dan, you, know, are you excited, mate, about playing us? Sorry? You excited about playing us soon? Sorry, Lawless, what were you talking about, mate? With, uh, <laughs> <laughs> what were you talking about? <laughs> so let's talk about Luton, right? Oh, my <laughs> oh God. It's true. It's true. It's oh, true. Dear. Um, right, Luton ain't no mugs, mate. I know they just come up and only look at them. I haven't won a game, Lawless. I haven't won a game. Yeah, but... We beat them 4 1, mate. What's going on here? Lawless, at what point when that when that ball hits uh, Paul Price? <laughs> Big up, man. Big up, man. At Big what up, point man. were you sat there worrying? At what point were you sat there worrying, thinking, oh, bollocks? Ward Prowse, mate, that handball will have been 2-2. Honestly, bro. when that happened, I thought, oh, here we go. Right, here we go. I'm going to get on to that. By the way, just for context, when I say they ain't no... This is their first game. No, go on. Lord, Lord, keep, keep picking them up. Keep picking them up. Go on. No, go on. it's their first... Because we see it last season, right? Nottingham Forest, their first game in the Prem at home. We had them, right? And it was a big occasion, right? It was like a cup final. And same way here, it's a big occasion it's their first game in that stadium in the premier league yeah this is gonna this was always and gonna be a potential banana skin it was always <laughs> gonna be to me that was the test and we said this before scott said it on our preview this is moise's biggest test of the season because what, yeah it's great if you can yeah do you know why Be no because we sit there at chelsea right chelsea brighton we showed what we can do against teams that are happy to have the ball right happy to have all the possession we hit them on the counter we Dominated the possession in this game. And we still won. We played against the team that was happy to give up the ball. So we had an answer for it. That is the big key for me, is that we ain't just going to be a one-trip pony, right? We can, we can, you know, rock up and be big-time Charlies. But when a team comes to us and they want to say, no, you have the ball, do we have a response? Do we have an answer? Honestly, I feel like you're, you're here... As a as a mole or some kind of like you've been put plant. here. He's a plant. He's, he's a plant. He's, a, he's an industry plant. That's what he is. That's what he is. He's an industry plant. Come here to rustle us every week. He should be, he should be prime minister. You. I'd love Lawless as prime minister. I'd love him. As listen, well. I went on the Luton fan channel ahead of the game, and listen. Oh, uh, that's I'm why then we know now he's made friends over there, and now he's bigging them up. That's what it is. No, because they listen, they gave me an insight and he said they're right, all you lazy pundits out there who just writing them off and predicting them to go down. I'd love them to stay up. Have... Love it. Yeah, 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 second team, of course they would. Got. <laughs> well, I'd say second team. I don't know how many second teams you got. Newcastle, <laughs> Aston Villa, Brighton, Luton, Jesus. Christ, Not West Ham. That's all I know. It you got West more Ham. teams than <laughs> European trophies, mate. Honestly. <laughs> Not, not West Ham is what my... my no, no, team clearly is. not, That's clearly cool. not. But is, there, I, does anyone now oh. think, someone in the chat, I'm just going to put this out, I just want to finish on this, right? And they, because Potts either. likes to throw this out. Oh, it's a disgrace to put West Ham temp for parody, oh, for disgrace, right? When I said, and this is, shout out to whoever said this in the chat, people watch, people pay attention. There's a lot of people out there that really pay attention to what we say, pay attention to what I say, right? When I said West Ham would finish seventh, you all laughed like it was the craziest prediction ever. Like it was, oh my god, seventh, right? So at you the sit time there and say, Oh, oh, at the time, at the time. Well, at the time you was wrong. Yeah. <laughs> and now I will give you a chance to apologize. <laughs> early. It's, it's four games, Lord. <laughs> oh, okay, it's four games. Oh, no, you oh. all right, I'm giving you a chance to get your stocks in early, right? I don't want to apologize. I don't in want early. to. I don't I don't want to. Want to. Wow. I'm happy. Okay. I've made my okay. bet. I'm lying. Guess what? Man. You lot right over there. Use 
I, I pray that you finish in the top seven. Yo, for your sake, for, for your health and well-being, I pray you don't that want I it, man. finish. Because if you, you don't, don't want that, if you don't, I will jump on the Liverpool to Houston train and come find you. I will find you, bro. <laughs> I, will. I did it last season. I will do it again at the end of this season. I will come find you and we will have a conversation face to face. Let me just say this, and I hate to say it. This is going to kill me to say it. I can't see us finish, should finish above Spurs. I think Spurs finish above West Ham and Arsenal. I hate to say it, what but about without Europe, Europe and without Arsenal. Europe. I Where we finish Spurs, Newcastle? What about Newcastle, Lawless? I think we can finish above Newcastle. Um, like I said, the, the, as it stands, I know I don't want to be knee jerk, but that Champions League is going to take a heavy toll. Um, so I think, yeah, I think we. I don't, I don't think it's crazy to think we finish above um, Newcastle at all. I think that's achievable. I think all of can those I, teams can are. I just, can I just say? Can I just say? Them. This guy talks absolute crap because he said that when Harry Kane leaves Tottenham, they're in a relegation battle. Now they're finishing above Arsenal. What's going I, I on? I said here? they could be. I said they could. I said this is what you and Tobes don't listen. I never said they will be in a relegation battle. I said they could. It can go one or two ways, and unfortunately for us, it's going the wrong way. It's so far now, and you still got tests to, to pass and all of that stuff. It's early 100%, doors for, for Ange. 100%. You know, injuries, how he copes with pressure, all of that stuff, right? It's all going smooth now. But as it stands, I think the no Europe thing, they're out of the Carabao Cup, right? You know, which is Spursy. I think there's a good chance now playing one game a week up until Christmas. They can rack up a decent amount of points. They're playing good football. Again, it hurts to say. I can say it a little you're bit more comfortably. To- you're saying this because Tobes ain't on. If you if Tobes was on here, you would never be saying this. You would never I be shameless like enough to say it. it. In it. Right. You, you lads know, last season, them two were at it every single week. Now he's, oh, he's off. I tell you what, I'll just big up Tottenham a bit. I think you'll finish above Arsenal. Oh, I reckon Arsenal, you'll probably finish above West Ham. Arsenal will be down with us somewhere. <laughs> I tell you what, I hope you no. are absolutely no, in the mud. Honestly. I swear no. to God, man. 